Israel has launched airstrikes across southern Lebanon, calling it a preemptive strike on Hezbollah. Meantime, the militant group said it launched hundreds of rockets and drones to avenge the killing of one of its top commanders last month. There are fears an all-out war could draw in the U.S., Iran, and militant groups across the region. The heavy exchange of fire comes as U.S. and Arab mediators try to broker a ceasefire deal in the Israel-Hamas war in Gaza. Explosions and flashes of rocket fire lighting up the sky over the Israel-Lebanon border in the most heated exchange of fire between Israel and Hezbollah since the war began, amplifying the risk of a regional war. Scores of Israeli missiles fired into southern Lebanon to take out Hezbollah military targets. An Israeli military spokesperson says Hezbollah was planning to attack Israeli civilians. As a result of the airstrikes, flights headed to Israel's Ben Gurion airport are being diverted. Um, and it has been firing rockets and uh, has the same sort of uh, uh, you know, basic posture as, as Hamas does, that it wants to see Israel wiped from the face of the earth. Has described the strikes by Israel this morning as the most intense that Lebanon has seen since hostilities began uh, last October. I saw one estimate that there were at least 25 sites that were hit in really just the course of a few hours and our understanding is there are still some strikes occurring in the south of the country. Now the Ministry of Health is reporting a preliminary death toll of three people. One individual was killed on a strike in a car in a town near the border. Uh, two others were killed in a strike further away uh, from the border. I thought it was a great move. Look, the preemptive strike was very, very important. Because if they had launched the strike, they the, the Hezbollah into in Israel with thousands of missiles, and they were talking thousands, what would have happened with the loss of lives of Israelis and also the facilities? It would have pushed the Israelis into a doctrine they call Dahiya. And what Dahiya is called disproportionate response. And you, I think what they did, they prevented the next or the third Israeli-Lebanese war, and that is smart. And, and because of that, I think it's kind of reset the battlefield there. Israel saying around 100 fighter jets uh, were used in this operation last night, hitting around 200 targets in Lebanon. Now, if that's the case, then that is the most serious attack on Hezbollah since the full-scale war between Israel and Lebanon uh, back in 2006. Now, you know, in the last few weeks, we've seen intense diplomatic efforts to try and stop the crisis in Gaza escalating into a wider regional conflict. Uh, but the United States has warned that the failure to get a ceasefire and hostage release deal in Gaza uh, could see uh, this escalate into a wider regional conflict. At the, at the moment, judging on what's happened to mor this morning, you'd have to say that those diplomatic efforts have not worked. But you kind of got to focus in on what's going to happen there and prevent something from happening in, into the future. And they haven't done it, but the Israelis have done it. So the Israelis have done, actually, is reset deterrence in the region, and I think it's smart. And I think it's put Hezbollah on their, on their back foot, and it's clearly put the Iranians on their back foot, that they haven't done anything at all.